What are some of the cosplays that you the 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 do you cosplay? I really I'm looking at the water like right across from my from my oh I gotta keep going. I'm I'm looking at the water across from my on my nightstand and I'm just like I want that right now. Please, please, please give that to me. Give me that sweet cool <laughs> the, the, the cool earth syrup. Uh, okay. Hey everyone, I am Viola. I am the leader of Heartshot Dance. And today I'm actually not here to give you any information about upcoming events or anything. I'm actually here to give you information about myself. Um, I am doing my member interview or profile or question air. The rest of us are doing this, as you will have probably been watching. Um, and yeah, let's just get right into it. So as I said, yes, hi, I am Viola. Um, I am the leader and founder of Heartshot Dance. Um, I am also the current only dual status member, but um, that's okay. That'll, I'm sure that'll change eventually. Um, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I have been dancing, oh, oh my. Um, if we're talking just this genre, K-pop, J-pop, Oda Temita, I've only really been doing that since around mm, 2011, early 2011. Um, and so that marks about uh, seven or eight years at this point. I think that my eighth anniversary is actually coming up in 2019, so that's really exciting. Um, as for dancing in general, whew, uh, I was I was probably about nine years old, um, so that was that that was that. I've been dancing for quite some time, <laughs> actually. So uh, yeah. Um, in terms of K-pop and J-pop, it was Run Devil Run by uh, Girls Generation. I actually posted that cover up a long time ago um i hope yeah so it's i think i actually did that cover redid it twice and i think that it's still up on my really old a little bit defunct but still gonna try to renew channel um that was oh it was, it was ages ago it was probably like it wasn't the first cover that i posted but it was the first dance that i had learned personally um oh geez uh, I have a lot of like really good favorites. I think that my personal favorite, um, even though I don't really get to do it, and I don't even really if I'm, I don't really know if I'm like physically able to like do it anymore. But um, oh, oh my goodness, I should remember the name of it, and I just don't. Why? Why am I like blanking on the name? Like as soon as I said it, I just like completely forgot about like what the name was. The Earth's Final Confession. Oh my goodness, I'm. So <laughs> I literally like was thinking of the Japanese name and I just totally like I'm like losing all of my Japanese so I'm just like mm, I don't know where it even is the old little Japanese that I had honestly um, but yeah Earl's Final Confession was like probably my favorite piece that I've ever worked on um, one that's just really fun oh man uh, I have a lot of ones that I'm just like this is like such a fun dance to do um, there's like a lot of uh, Love Live songs that I'm like really really hyped about like um, Daydream Warrior. Like I feel like I just like know so many that if I just like somebody says a dance to me I will probably like be really really hyped about it. Um, but yeah there's just so many that I can't really like name just one but um, Earth's Final Confession is the one that comes to mind the most. Oh I just answered that. Um, but yes again Earth's Final Confession is probably my favorite of any cover that I have ever done in my life. <laughs> Um, it was very, it was very challenging, but like, I think that that was like really like where I pushed myself the hardest and like really, um, achieved what, like, I really like, I don't want to say like I achieved like a greatness, but I feel like that that was like a really high pinnacle at which I really want to try to push past in the future even further. Um, so it was like a really, really like solid cover that I even still go back and I'm just like, wow, I did that. <laughs> So yeah, um, now that wasn't actually posted to HSD. Um, so the favorite, co so my favorite cover actually on here, and I do need to remaster the editing on it, was um, actually um, Joyland, which is my last cover. Um, I really, really love Lovelies a lot, as you can tell, because I've done like so many Lovelies covers on this channel. Yeah, that's probably like one of the one of the ones that that on here was probably my favorite cover. Ooh, um, I want to say. 
Like I've been to I've been to so many at this point. I think I counted my badges recently and I've been to like 40 different conventions. <laughs> oh well of course like there's a lot of repeats. Um but I really like you know what? I'm gonna just say it. I really like AX. <laughs> I know like people give like a lot of crap to AX, like saying that like, oh it's not all that hyped, but like no, I kinda really feel like I like see so many like guests that I actually well if, like when there's guests there that I really want to see it kind of like really feels like I went to Japan for like two like point two three seconds invented for a little while and then came back home and it's like and I never even had to leave the country it's great um but if other than AX I would definitely say Colossal Con well either Colossal Con or Colossal Con East are like both really amazing conventions um I just really like the water part. Like I know, like I think that the coolest part of Colossal Con is the fact that they rent out the water park at night, so there's no lines to do anything, and you can just sit in the hot tub, you can ride all the slides you want to in that like little, in that in those couple of hour period, and it's just great because like everyone is there for the convention, and like nobody really, you know, has to really do anything major other than that. It's really really awesome. Um, definitely recommend going there if you ever get the chance um it's it's j-pop currently i feel like if you were to ask me like two three four no more like four years ago i would have said k-pop but definitely j-pop now um i just like i think I, i'm not really sure like why i feel like i probably it either has to something to do with the sounds or the like variants of sounds like Recently a lot of K-pop to me has started to sound similar. That's not like a bad thing, but it kind of just makes me feel um, Like I don't really feel as much like emotional attachment to the songs as I do and as I have in the past um, I might have just been falling out of it. Um, that just may have been a uh, side effect of me falling out of it but um yeah i'm definitely like really way more into j-pop now um probably because there's so much like out there in terms of um music because there are underground idols there's like so many other idol groups that like other than like akb and like hello project that are out there and that they're like all doing these like really really cool and amazing things um that like i really am more drawn to j-pop just because just because of that fact um, of course, there's also like very like talented vocalists in that too, and also in K-pop, also in K-pop. But um, I really, really like the fact that like literally, um, the industry is so is like as diverse in terms of like styles as it is, um, and that's just something I really, really like about J-pop. So, yeah. Do I want to say it's Love Live? I mean, I, it's kind of like I I regard Love Live highly. Um, but, like, I feel like my favorite show changes a lot, because really, right now, I'm into something that is called, where is it? It's right here. Review Starlight, man. Please go watch this. Please go watch this. It's like, it's so, I, like, no, it's like literally everything I've wanted in a music anime ever. Also, please go watch Simple Gear. <laughs> I am part of the whole watch Simple Gear cult, but, like, listen, it's, it's, it, it does get fan servicey, but I really think that people should give it a fair shot. Um, and you know, because like it really like gets like the lore in it is so like n unexpectedly deep that you wouldn't really like look at like the first you would look at like a, the first couple of episodes and not get that. And it's just it's just crazy. I, I like I really recommend some here people who are like willing to really try um, something like kind of out there. <laughs> um, uh, no, I don't. I don't. I don't play video games or anything. I don't. What are we, what are we talking? I don't. I don't play video games or any. I. I what? I. I don't. I don't. What? I. I, I don't. Uh, no. I. I don't. I don't play any of that. No. No. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, um. I really love the Legend of Zelda series. I'm actually like kind of like as you can probably have saw from that. I'm like pretty much like a really big um, Nintendo fan. Um, I pretty much have every system up until the one that, like, pretty much every system since I've been born, I have. So, <laughs> that's, um, that's something that's a little fun fact about myself as well. Um, but yeah, I really love Nintendo games, but I really, really love the Legend of Zelda series, like, insanely. <laughs> um, since, like, Ocarina of Time was, like, one of the first games that I was, like, really introduced to as a kid, so it's very, it's very, um, 
that's yeah that's something that I'm really really passionate about as well um I also like um just recently um completed Super Mario Odyssey as well and that was like a really really fantastic game as well Breath of the Wild too uh I'm still actually not even done with Breath of the Wild, but only because like I took a pause to, because I actually got a Switch. I was playing it on my Wii U, and it kind of got to the point where I just like I just want to play with the Switch now. It's it's great. You can just like you can pop up the controllers. They're like, I just I like it. <laughs> you can pop it off. You can take it anywhere. It's so, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop fangirling right now. Um. This stuff. <laughs> I've done that. I haven't done this. I have. I have not done this. But I. I, I thought about it once, honestly. Well, but we're, we're. Well, I did this. I did. I did that. That was. That, this was actually my proudest one right here. The, the star dash. That was like probably the one um, that I was the most proud of. I wish I could put a picture up. I'm, I. I think software won't let me to do that. Um. But yeah, I mean, I mostly cosplay love life that's steadily changing because i just recently also picked up a Revy starlight cosplay making another Revy starlight cosplay and a, a sim figure uniform so i could cosplay sim figure character listen <laughs> i like music anime a lot so i cosplay a lot of music anime um is there anything else besides music anime that i haven't planned on or are going to co or is going to cosplay um hmm I thought about cells at work. I thought about it, and then I was just like, mm, I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. So we'll just have to wait and see. It'll probably just continue to be music anime. I'm, I'm gonna just be honest. But I did also cosplay Zelda recently. <laughs> I literally just like, I have a very one-track mind when it comes to these things. Um, but yeah, I mean, I cosplay who I love, and I love Eliasa. <laughs> That's it. That's basically it. I, I really am kind of I'm kind of boring other than these few things that are interesting about me. Um, well, the real truth of the matter is that HSD Hershey Dance to me, um, I wanna keep this group going for a long time. I always want there to be a space for dancers, um, like myself who really like K-pop, like J-pop, Otisabita, all of those things, um, just to have a place where they can express themselves freely um, and, you know, try out any concept, try out multiples, multitudes of things, um, just so that they can, you know, feel more comfortable in themselves and then also, again, have that space because I really, growing up, didn't like have like a really kind of big space where I could do that. Um, and I also like want them again to shoot for their dreams to be come whatever they want to become within um, the dance community and within the Otomi Talk community, whether or not they want to actually like you know become like a big N and D like actual Otorite or you know just even if they just want to stay here, learn or be a part of something greater than themselves, and you know just have that kind of motive to be part of something and either take it and grow with it or just use it as they should as they want to and i feel like that that's really important um for especially us in our generation um to at least try to find themselves a lot especially when there's a lot of um you know things in social media and like you know bad a lot of bad things in the world i really want to want hsd at the end of the day to be um, a good thing, even if it's a very small thing. So, yeah, that's my, I guess you could say that's my ulterior motive, um, in running Heart Dance. Okay. Hope you all enjoyed that. Um, look forward to the other members when they do their other interviews. Um, I think there, I'll, if there's another, I'll, I'll put another section for, thanks for watching.